What's up, guys and gals? I'm your host, Mike Peel, the FPC Virtual Channel, and you're tuning in to an awesome, awesome Blender series. This is Blender 2.8 Zero Beta, and we're going to be covering how to get the clothing for your Manuel Bastioni Lab add-on. If y'all folks watched my previous session video, you should have watched it by now. Uh, hopefully you did. If you missed it, you can check the video's description area to get that session and any other previous sessions that are covering Manuel Bastioni, the add-on for Blender 2.8 beta. So um, pretty much what you're seeing here is it trying to render itself. I'm rendering around at a thousand sample rate right now using cycles. So I recommend for y'all folks to render using cycles just to test it, just to see what you can come up with. It's very, very powerful with photorealism and you'll be able to do a lot, a lot with it. So right now it's rendering at a distance. If you move it up closer, it may not render the best. So that's enough about the rendering discussion. Let's go into the clothing. So um, how to get the clothing working, how to get it to interact and respond to the armature so you can pose it properly, things like that. That's the kind of stuff that I want to talk about and also help y'all folks to get to do. And so we're going to start this over. I already got her saved. So I'm going to go to a new project and I'm going to start a him project instead of her. So we're going to go into creating a 3D asset of a male character since I already did that particular character. What is the Manuel Bastioni lab? I'll talk about that just briefly, but I talked about it in my previous session. Pretty much it's a tool where you can auto generate human characters or human 3D models. And if y'all folks never seen it before, pretty much this is the add-on. Like I said, check that actual video description area to get the add-on. If y'all folks haven't got to it, there should be a link to get the add-on as well in that video description area and the video that showcases it if you want to get that as well. So what I'm doing here, I'm just unchecking certain things. This is how you start it out. You can also select up here what type of character you want. So we're going to go with a Afro-American male. It may not work the way I want it, so I may have to choose the Caucasian male. When I talk about that, I'm talking about the clothing. So um, I'm not going to use the inverse kinematics. That's just basically applying a higher level uh, rig to it. I'm going to leave it plain and blank without that. And I'm not going to add the portrait lights studio lights i don't need all that stuff all i want is to use ev materials and i'm not going to use basic muscles at all right now so we're going to go and click the create character option and that's going to bring the character in you can also add the assets in there ahead of the character if you wanted to so you go to asset library and then play with that but for now i'm just going to bring in the character just to show you all folks how the issues that, that i have sometimes may be something that's going to affect you as well so you can see it ahead of time so that way you can avoid it if you want to avoid it in terms of adding the clothing there's other ways to do it in terms of fixing the clothing and stuff like that i'll show you all folks how to fix the clothing if it doesn't work out for you as you, you see um, it may not work out for me here as well so now i'm done with this i'm say i went in i did all the customization this is all the customized stuff that you can do you can go in and change the character type you can make him athletic this is that i'm not going to do any of that because when you do that it's going to throw off the setting for the clothes what i'm going to do is just finalize when you finalize that basically is going to try to store as a png on your computer so I'm just going to put it in an actual um, manual Bastioni lab folder that I'm going to create and just um, I'll put it in cool dude. I don't know. We'll call him cool, cool dude. Cool dude version one. You're going to notice sometimes that it says not responding on the upper left corner. Don't worry about that. If your computer doesn't freeze, you can keep going. It's going to take a little while for it to go through. And that's basically how you finalize it. When you finalize it, the benefits towards the tail end is that you're going to see that you have more capabilities. You're going to have your shape key options where you can utilize shape keys. You're going to have the ability to play with a face rig. But for, for now, the face rig is not working for me. So I don't, I don't recommend for y'all folks to mess with it. But if you do, you're going to notice that face rig may not work. Um, 
in order to activate it you got to be activated on the armature but we're not talking about that let's go into asset library this is what you came to watch and also to learn so you go to asset library don't click this folder here this is how you would get assets that you created yourself into your um, actual setup so that you can get your proxy to fit it but you really don't have to do it that way you can go to file go to import and then bring in any kind of clothing from the outside source that you maybe you haven't created but you purchased or you got it for free from some other 3d website or whatever um, archive for 3d models etc sometimes you can find free stuff but if you don't want to do all that and you want to use what's available you go to here it says anime female hair you click that and that gives you an option it opens up all of the differing um, options that they have available so say I wanted to add a casual suit just to give him a suit we're gonna to go to see if the male has a suit well the females have a suit the males don't seem like they have a suit this is mostly female assets as far as what I can see so male tactical top male tactical bottom and male boots that's the only stuff that it seems like you can get so let's go with the tactical top it's gonna to try to put it in there and you're gonna notice that you have some texture issues for the the mesh for the skin see that and then also we will try to put in the male tactical boots and then the male tactical bottom so there we go the male tactical bottom is working better than the top so no mesh issues here the boots worked really well as you can see so there you go that's basically how you get the clothes it's really not that hard now this will end the actual video session on how to get the clothes and from this point on y'all folks would probably want to know how to make the clothes work so for those who already know how to make that work that ends your session but for those who don't know how to make the clothing work i'm going to push it a little bit further so the video may go a little bit further than 10 minutes or so All right, folks so this ends that session I just wanted to let y'all folks know the full actual video is gonna be uploaded after this one so I'm gonna launch this one first and then I'm gonna put the full length video after that it's gonna go into almost an hour long so for those who want to go and extend out to that full length video there's gonna be a little eye tiny eye in the upper right corner somewhere in this video you can click it or you can go in the videos description area and click to get to that one and it will be the extension to it um, I'm gonna be doing some videos on rendering as you can see this is her uh, actually rendered and when I said her this is the character right here I did this character um, right pretty much after I was showing folks how to do the clothing and stuff like that for Manuel Bastioni and this is her right here and so I'm gonna show y'all folks how to get the best renders out for Manuel Bastioni through uh, this actual tool through Blender 2.8 beta and also to play around with the textures and stuff like that if y'all folks want to check out that video most definitely um, check out the very next video uh, session that I have to launch and feel free to subscribe feel free to hit the thumbs up if you like the video and feel free to smash that bell icon like no tomorrow if y'all folks want to get my very next video in this session and series for blender and i'll see you next time peace